Once you make a decision and you go all in and you say, I ain't quitting until I get there. I ain't giving up. I ain't giving in. I will do whatever it takes, whatever it takes. I'll do whatever it takes to be successful. And when you make that decision, you, when you look you in the mirror, when you tell yourself that, look, I'm through, I'm, I'll do whatever it takes, I guarantee you, that's the day your city field begins to happen. And when I start studying successful people, what I realize successful people do is that they don't go with the days, they go with the hours. And if you only have 24 hours in a day and you sleep in eight of those hours, then you only have what left? You ain't, you don't, listen to me, you only operate with 16 hours to be successful. Now, let's leave, let's leave sleep alone. You slept for eight hours, you got 16 hours left. How many of y'all talk on the phone? Right, you, you have talked away your success. Maximum effort, maximum reward. And the thing that bothers me about this generation, they want more than any generation has ever wanted, but they don't love work the way generations of old love work. You have to put the work in. Don't fool yourself. You are not going to be successful by luck. You're gonna put in as many hours as the other dude did to be successful. If you are an underdog, you gotta believe against all odds. If you are an underdog, you gotta learn to close your ears to everybody. You gotta learn to close your ears to everything. You gotta learn to block out the distractions and you gotta learn to get focused. The way I went from the bottom to the top is one day I went all in. Are you hearing me? All in. I made a decision. I left my job. I stopped playing video games. I stopped watching TV. I stopped listening to me. I stopped eating certain things. I stopped doing certain things. I made sacrifice. I went all in. All your excuses, all your good reasons, everything, every, everything that's keeping you from doing what you're supposed to do, I need you to put it behind you and say yesterday was the last day for that foolishness. Yesterday was the last day to say I don't have enough money to do this. I don't have enough money to go to school. I don't have enough money to get a computer. I don't have, I don't have what it takes. I'm not smart enough, right? I, I don't write well enough. I don't sing well enough. That's why I didn't do my CD. I didn't write my book because I'm not on that level. Listen to me. You better hear what I'm saying. Yesterday was the last day that I want to hear an excuse. It's over with. People talk about Oprah Winfrey, you know, Ted Turner, Warren Buffett. Listen to me. I don't care how much money you make. You only get 24 hours in a day. And the difference between Oprah and the person that's broke is Oprah uses her 24 hours wisely. There are those of you who said, I want to be a millionaire. I want to be the best at this company, right? But your value system says you believe in sleep more than you believe in grinding. It is a sense of urgency and every single day when you wake up, you better be spending time on your dreams. You better be spending time on your You ain't got time to waste. It is a sense of urgency. I want you when you wake up to have that spear. Are you hearing me now? Some of y'all walking slow. Some of y'all, your energy is low. Some of y'all, your, your passion and y'all drive is low. You better have a sense of urgency because when you have a sense of urgency, what you're telling this world is not only do I want it, I want it as bad as I want to breathe, but I want it right now.